I think we're in luck. You know what they say. When ships come to dock, birds arrive by the flock. This must mean the fairies are up and running again. Like, just look at all those birds. I doubt a mere fleet of ships brought this many birds here. Ugh, filthy pests! Maester, are you all right? Ugh, I'm fine. But nothing good would come from fraternizing with you royals. I think it's the other way around. It's karma for you being such a sourpuss. What was that? You gross! Get away from me! Hmm? What's up, Elena? Is something wrong? No. Am I crazy, or has the number of people on the streets taken a huge dive? It certainly has. There seem to be even fewer people than when we were last here. But why? Sorry to spring this on you all, but can we hit up Dr. Vanell's for a second? I've got a really bad feeling about this. There you are, Nina. I'd love to know the same. It's been this way since the first ferry arrived from the east. Everyone, do not be alarmed, but I believe we should vacate the area as soon as possible. Why? This village might be experiencing an outbreak. If any of you, especially Ray, got infected, it could be fatal. Wait! But... but can't we... Doctor, isn't there something you can do about this? Some medicine or semiomancy you can use. Uh, we have symbols to reduce fever and cough, but those merely treat the symptoms. They are not a cure for the malady. Let me get this straight. Ships brought this disease with them, right? Meaning it originated somewhere in the east. Thus, worst case scenario, the whole eastern half of the kingdom could become infected too. Therefore, if we just leave this disease to spread, it would still pose an immense risk to you and Chloe, at the very least. Understood. Just to be safe, however, everyone besides Nina should move as far away from this infirmary as possible. I also strongly encourage the use of face masks. Cloth will suffice if none are available. Gotcha. Dr. Vernell, Elena will provide help. Just fill her in on the details. Pardon me, are you a doctor? No, but I have the skills and knowledge comparable to one. Also, it's impossible for me to become infected. I can safely examine the most ill of patients. This is Ground Zero, Ray. Take the others far away from here. Let's just hole up here for the day. I don't want to incur Elena's wrath. I'm curious as to what form that would take. I'm sure it would make for quite the spectacle. You're a braver man than I. At any rate, I must go. Some of us have to wash feculence from their raiment. All right, then. In the meantime, we should sit tight until we hear word from Nina and Elena. Can such flimsy cloth truly prevent us from contracting the illness? Not really, but it's still better than nothing. Plus, you're not just wearing one for your own health. If you ever get sick, it'll keep you from infecting other people, to some extent. I, I don't understand. How does the act of covering one's mouth and nose prevent the spread of disease? Oh, right. You're not really up on bacteria and viruses, are you? Would really like to ask Midas just how much people here know about that kind of thing, but... Where is he? Still getting his beauty sleep? Hey, 
Hey, Midas, the hell are you still in bed for? Time to get up and face the day. Ray, please, not a step further. Huh? Contact Elena this instant. He could be in danger. Uh, okay, you got it. Elena, you busy right now? Looks like there's something wrong with Midas. His temperature is more than high enough to constitute a fever. Will he be all right? Still too early to say. We must rush to collect some samples, however. Those birds' feces. Ugh, why do we need that? Simple. Because it serves as a breeding ground for a specific type of bacteria. That bacteria causes Helgar's disease, or colloquially, the rot. The scourge ravaging this village is Helgar's disease? And Maester Felgreed? Leticia, remain calm. It may be a fatal disease for the people of this planet, but it can be eliminated. Is that really possible? Yes. I read through all the research in Nina's possession. Using that, we should be able to create an antibiotic. We cannot, however, fashion it out of thin air. I'll need multiple samples of the microbe. As it resides in birds' fecal matter, that's what we'll collect. Aren't you overlooking something? Rysel is a veritable aviary at this point. With this many birds here, isn't it already too late to save the town? At first glance, but there aren't many people infected. Why is unclear, but the samples will help elucidate that. Don't worry, I will do the actual collection. So where do we find these samples? The port? No, in the many roosts that have sprung up all over town. By observing their flight patterns, I discovered something. Each bird belongs to a distinct social group. If we investigate the nests of these groups, it should yield invaluable information. We've not a moment to lose. A seabird nicked the bread right out of my hands in front of the tavern. You need to hurry up and do something about those nests. Finished collecting the sample. Let's proceed to the next roost. I finished collecting the sample. Let's proceed to the next roost. Hey, Leticia, Albert. Is it just me, or have we seen that somewhere before? 
No, we have. It's identical to what we saw in the mines. They possess morphological abnormalities. You said you've seen this species before? Yes, in the Delric mines. Right now, Midas's health is our top priority. The villagers can deal with this avian infestation themselves after we found a cure. Indeed. I believe we did, Nina. I must give you credit. Selecting the perfect herb from all of our options was no easy task. <laughs> well, after all, it is my specialty. You have a keen eye. I forgot I even had it stocked. What exactly is that circle? Do you see the white part of this plate? It's filled with bacteria, organisms that are so small they cannot be seen with the naked eye. It's these invisible organisms that have made your villagers fall ill. As for this circle, it's called a zone of inhibition. It forms around the site where you place your prospective antidote. The larger it is, the more effective your drug is at killing the bacteria. Meaning... If we give this drug to people, they won't be afflicted by the disease anymore? Not entirely correct. An antibiotic merely eliminates the cause of the disease. Whether or not the patient is able to recover depends on other factors. Regardless, it will still rid the world of Helgars, right? <laughs> That's quite the medicine. What's more, you don't even need Iatromancy to create it. <laughs> Elena? Ray, a moment, if you will. At last, an end to our worries. Soon the kingdom shall be free of this plague. I hate to ask this, but Dr. Vanell, don't you agree we should keep this medicine a secret for now? Yes. Yes, I do. Why is that? Because the plant used to make it can only be found in one location and in limited numbers. With as few plants as there are, there's no way we can make enough doses for everyone. And where might we be able to find these elusive plants? Mount Cotterant, and nowhere else. It's just to the north of Cotto, and the quickest way I know to get there would be by ferry. If Cotto's along the ferry route as well, their citizens might also have fallen ill. This is awful. I know it's better to keep this hidden, but I still can't help feeling... Nina. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go get Elena. Before we do anything, first we need Uncle Midas to get well again. Morning, Uncle Midas. You feeling any better? Well enough, but I'm much too old to go through all that again. You should count your lucky stars since your quick recovery is pretty miraculous. I heard. It seems I was struck with the rot. I owe you two. It's all thanks to Nina. Her many years of diligent research are what paved the way for this discovery. Without her research, it would have been almost impossible to find the plant that contained the appropriate compound. Filberto would be pleased to hear that. <sighs> Thanks. Well, now that Midas is back to form, I say we're eastward bound. Uh, about that. I hate to put a damper on things, but after the disaster with the first one, they've stopped running the ferries again. Please tell me you're joking. At this rate, we're never going to be able to search for Chloe. If you've the stamina, I know a way to Kato, and maybe her. Hmm? The trail leads from where we repaired Elena, and over the peak of Galcalemthus. A trail? There? It fell out of use over a century ago, so I'd be more surprised if you did know of it. 
Once we're over, we'll make for Mount Cotterinth. The herbs for your medicine can be found there. And I imagine the Cato Seaport will need said cure if we hope to see their ferry services return in a timely manner, yes? Then you will assist us. Thank you, Maester Felgreed. Stop. I'm only accompanying you because of Albert and Elena. And, I suppose, for the sake of Ada itself, it's not uncommon for the residents to visit flatland settlements. We should have the cure on hand, in case one succumbs to the rot. Excuses, excuses. Silence, whelp. Now, unless anyone wants to experience what I did, I say we get moving. The start of a beautiful friendship. He's just not good at expressing himself, but he'll come around. I'm sure you and Albert can both sympathize with his plight. Huh? The hell's that mean? I think I might have an idea. Ahoy hoy! Well cheer! The beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts! You busy? Never mind. Don't care if you are. I'm summoning you to come to my house in Delric first taste. I need something else now. Do you copy? Who's taste? Comprende? Tick tock, tick tock! Kato's up and over that hallowed Mount Galkalemphis in the Adali region, right? Are we really supposed to climb a hallowed mount? <sighs> I'd have been spared of this massive Marcus had only kept quiet. Exactly the same sorts of nests in two places as distinct as Rifle and the mines of Delric suggests to me that something is amiss. <sighs> Nina shared with me the research she has pulled together on Helgar's disease. It is an impressive collection. It. Pardon us. There you are, Slowpoke. Didn't I say poo's taste? Mm. Anywho, today I need you to bring me this. You're on it, right? Great. Now get me that with max speed. As always, what the heck? <gasps> oh no, what if they forgot? Maybe I should call them again, just in case? But they might be on their way soon. Oh, what do I do? Oh. Sorry for the wait. <gasps> Where did you come from? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'd hardly call that waiting. <laughs> Not like I lost faith in your integrity. If anything, that was a world record. <laughs> Too shabby. This is an unparalleled ingredient. Now I'm one step closer to the final goal. Oh? What goal, you ask? Well, that is a secret resting in this here brain. Now, don't be pushy. As thanks, I will now give you a lesson in the smithery secrets of the vineyard family. You must be thrilled! But don't spill the beans on this top secret info. I'll give you another call the next time I need something. You better be permanently ready to pick up, Buster. Glad to be of assistance.
Such an idyllic place. That is how you see it? I'm sorry. Well, it is divorced from the cacophony and commotion of places like Delric and Rifle, which is why I chose to live here after leaving the capital. But once I actually started living here, idyllic was about the last thing I found it to be. Is that so? Well, what do you think possessed me to erect such an ominous gate? I'm not sure. The village is constantly threatened by mountain beasts, and suitable farmland is sparse. In the past, it once thrived as a place of training for the kingdom's semiomancers. But young blood these days aren't interested in coming here, and some villagers even left to the capital for work. How short-sighted of me. It should go without saying that the people here must deal with their fair share of hardship. Yes, but still, not everyone cares to move to the city. No matter how remote or inconvenient it is, they'll protect where they've laid their roots. Paragons of virtue as they are, I stayed to help. I went and inquired much of the village about you, Maester. I'm not one to put on airs to suit with whom I speak. No, no. That is not what I intended to say. Rather that I believe you love this village dearly, and that the villagers regard you with admiration in return. <laughs> you do understand something. I am no master of weapons like yourself. Hence, I thought a talisman would be a brilliant idea. So I require something made with the tail of a certain monster. Would you be able to get it for me, perchance? I'm sure that with the protection of a talisman, even someone as weak as I can journey onward. I humbly ask for your assistance. How exquisite! <laughs> Is Artemis? No. Those people we just passed by, they regarded us as brother and sister. Brother and sister? For us to be seen as such would be a great discourtesy to you, your highness. Why do you say such words, Albert? The two of us have been together since childhood. Being mistaken for siblings is no surprise. Mayhap, you are right. But if we truly were relatives, then that would mean... You would be the elder sibling, and I as the younger sister. Would I now? You are older than me, after all. Additionally, you have always been protective and reliable. Yes, though you are not my sibling in truth, you are very well like a... a troublesome little sister. But no matter the circumstances, I shall protect you. Oh, big brother Albie. Uh, please refrain from referring to me as such. Oh, why? Just please, never do that again. Oh, exquisite! Dr. Eason and Uncle Midas don't seem like they should get along all that well. In spite of that, they've been friends for a long time. It's strange, really. Elena, have I ever given you cause to be displeased with me? There is nothing in particular I can think of. Tell me, why do you ask? 
<laughs> Actually, I happen to hear stories of how you can be quite frightening when you fall into anger. <sighs> I assume this comes from Ray then? That we have embroiled Ray in our affairs is a truth. I was worried that mayhaps we are causing you hardship as a result, Elena. All choices have been up to Ray. I have no opinion on the matter either way. And to clarify, it is a misconception that I become frightening when angry. Is that so? Firstly, I can easily count the number of times I have actually felt angry. I see. And what might have stoked your anger on those occasions? On one particular occasion, I became angry when Ray disregarded his own safety and exposed himself to danger. His actions are often reckless and dangerous, so I use anger as a method to control his inclinations. <laughs> oh, Helena, you are a kind one. Do you think so? Of course you are kind. You are expressing anger out of your concern for Ray. <sighs> Unfortunately, time after time, those concerns never seem to register with Ray. No, I am sure he feels your thoughts for him. <sighs> Kato's up and over that hallowed Mount Galkalemthus in the Adal. Positional tactics in a Perilous attack incoming. Execute blindside maneuver. Warning. Energy levels destroyed. Say goodbye. Threat neutralized. Insufficient ally. Nothing shall see us deterred. Enjoy so tough being popular. Oh, exquisite. Man, from the mountains to the sea. Pretty intense journey, ain't it? My sincerest apologies for having you accompany me to and fro. No, I didn't mean to make you feel like that. It's exciting going places I normally don't go. No need to apologize. I'm having a great time. I am pleased to hear that. Speaking of, which do you like better, Leticia? The mountains or the sea? Pardon? Why do you ask? That's a pretty common thing to ask. Like, say you're going on vacation. Which would you want to go to? Understood. I had not considered the question before, but...
would say the sea. Oh, really? Ah, the sea comes with lots of good cuisine, that's for sure. I did not choose my answer predicated on the fare, you know. Oh, okay, gotcha. But yeah, the sea is so huge, it's just incredible. Really an awe-inspiring sight to behold. Indeed. It is exquisite to experience how prodigious the world truly is. Being there makes me want to shout at the top of my lungs. Woohoo! Oh, I do relate. Kindly. We've got some new items in stock. Well, that was indeed fruitful. Is there a path here that leads to the Hallowed Mount? There is. We head for the shrine. So Say goodbye! Reactivating combat protocols. I don't like the look of them. It's dangerous. Stay behind me. Destroy. Unable to execute. <laughs> Slow. Warning. Locked Energy on. levels Target low. Neutralized. <laughs> Prepare yourself. <laughs> Secure. This way, right? Near the location of my pod. Let's go toward the structure. Lost. 